Intel drives a solution for 1690 and 1990 John Deere air seeders. Okay. They'll give the ability for section control up to 12 sections and also give the growers the ability to uh, use prescription based planning. The section control will cut it down to 30 to 45 inches instead of 15 to 21 foot. Uh, even on square fields, you're going to see around 4% savings. On regular fields, are about 10 to 12. That's what I was going to say. I mean, sa saving money, I got to think, is very important, yep. obviously. How is this going to help that? Our goal is on the soybeans is you're going to pay for it in 1,500 acres. Okay. Um, now, it's going to change a little bit depending on what, what seed you use and your, your field size. But our, our goal is around 1,500 acres. We've seen some guys pay for it sooner, some a little bit after. And it just seems technology and innovation now is such a big part of this. Uh, it seems like you guys are kind of leading the way in, in that category, aren't you? Yep, so we got it now where it'll, uh, you can take your, the 1990 and put it behind a case track in New Holland because we're allowing it to go on multiple different brands. It's ISO, uh, so it's going on the new Gen 4 display for okay. John Deere, the 2630 Ag Leader in commands, and the Case Pro 700s. And how about just the, the feedback when you talk to someone that, that has used this? What do they say about it? How has it helped them? Uh, there's some guys that returned over $20,000 in the first wow. year. Uh, not everybody's that way, but that's just uh, sure. one of the guys that had a lot of chopped up fields in mm -hmm. southern Iowa. Um, being able to set the rate instead of the guesswork and wasting 40 units right off the bat, because right. we can do a catch test and that will put in, that will figure your seats per revolution so you're not guessing and wasting seed sure. in the first 40 units. And when someone walks into the booth, you know, what are you kind of walking them through how, how this works? How, how, take so, me through that conversation. So we're showing them the calibration page just like for the catch test. Okay. We're showing them that the 1990s are known for leaving a V pattern because of different lengths hoses. So in our system, we have it where each motor has its own turn on, turn off time to eliminate that V pattern. It's about 0.3 seconds difference between uh, between each motor. Okay. And then something too we're showing guys is on the GS3, we're the only third party that John Deere is allowed to give a split screen technology on there. Sounds like a almost a no no brainer. <laughs> I would say so, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, so we've had around 300,000 acres planted on it so far okay. this past year. Um, some guys that have a 1990 currently, they're buying another 1990 sure. to run two okay. of them instead of running a split row planter and uh, the 1990s. And I got to think you, that's got to feel good knowing that you're helping somebody save some money, make some money, make a difference. Yes. Uh, and the, with the results they're seeing, that's why they're adding a second air seeder yep. because they, they can pay for it uh, sooner than uh, spend the upfront cost of going to a high speed or a, sure. a split row planner. Okay. Well, hey, thanks for being a part of our uh, spotlight video. Thank you.